Good afternoon, everybody. This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln on May 14th, 2020, Thursday afternoon. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. It's rare that I do two of these updates in a row on the same issue, but I want to follow up on the update that we put out yesterday. First, I know that for some in our community, you want nothing more than to be in our building worshiping together again. We hear you, we see you, and all of us share your hunger for connection in this time. And in the last couple days, I've heard from many of you that you value our commitment to being a part at this time. And I am proud to serve a congregation that takes the health and safety of our members, friends, and staff so seriously. I'm on this topic again because this afternoon we received an update from the Unitarian Universalist Association and Reverend Susan Frederick Gray with guidance for reopening. The whole document is linked in the video description below, but here's the important quote from that document. Based on guidance from experts, the UUA continues to recommend that congregations not gather in person. We also recommend that congregations begin planning for virtual operations for the next year through May 2021. Now, there's a lot to unpack here, and there's a lot that we still don't know, but I want to highlight just a couple things today. We here in Lincoln share the UUA's core commitment to the safety of our members, friends, and staff. That is the first thing that we consider in these con con conversations and the last thing that I hope we use to double check our decisions. Right now, the decision that we've reached in Lincoln is to close our building through the end of August and to continually evaluate the situation as it evolves. The UUA's guidance that they issued today asks us to begin planning for the possibility of virtual operations and worship through May 2021. And I know that's longer than any of us are hoping for. And it's important to highlight that planning for a possibility is not the same thing as that possibility taking place. But it is a contingency that we'll take seriously. I've asked our staff to be ready to spend the summer planning our next steps, and whether that's phased reopening or planning for a longer period of remote worship and operations, we'll treat these decisions with curiosity and humility, communicating every step along the way with the congregation. And last, I wanna say that we're going through these closures because of our beliefs, not in spite of them. We closed our building so that we can very concretely care for the inherent worth and dignity of each of our members, especially those at high risk, because we know that we are interconnected. And so we care for the whole community by ensuring that each member of it is safe and healthy. I know we have a congregational meeting on Sunday. I look forward, we, the leadership team, look forward to answering what questions that we can at that meeting but please know that there are still a lot of unknowns. We're going to begin significant me medium term planning following the congregational meeting. So there's going to be some things that we just don't know yet on Sunday. I hope that you'll give us the grace to, to recognize that this is an ongoing situation and we are all, all of us, from members to staff, to ministers, to the staff at the UUA, to Susan Frederick Gray, we are all doing the best we can in these deeply unique circumstances. It's Thursday night, which means at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln that I will see you in worship this evening. Until then, have a blessed afternoon and be at peace.